As you know, in this House we are well used to hearing congratulatory statements being made on all sides of the House about our sporting teams who wear the green. Uh, I'm a particular fan of, of ladies' football, um, soccer, Gaelic, uh, rugby. Um, I spend a, a good bit of my time supporting uh, my own local team, Shelburne, as they uh, tend to, uh, to win various domestic titles. Um, and in their pre previous guise as Rohini United. But what happened this morning at a press conference in Liberty House, I think should uh, pretty much appall every sports fan in this country. And it's not just an issue of, of gender equality. In fact, it's more of an issue of, of workers' rights and representative rights than anything else. But effectively, you had the entirety of the Irish senior soccer women's team forced into a situation where they had to have a press conference at half 10 this morning in Liberty House to demand action on their rights as individuals. They are purely and simply demanding they should have representative rights from the PFAI, which League of Ireland players have and which the senior uh, men's uh, team have, and the FAI are not uh, allowing this. And some of the uh, instances which they were outlined today were quite simply appalling. These are people who wear the green, who wear the green of this country in, in, in uh, stadiums all over the world, and they're not even allowed to have their own tracksuits. They have to share the tracksuits with the under-19s. So they assemble in Dublin Airport to go abroad to play for their country, and they have to change into the tracksuits in the, in the public toilets. This is unbelievable. Now, Leader, I would respectfully suggest that perhaps the Minister for Sport could come in here and address this issue. He is somebody, in fairness to him, who has spoken out on the, on the need for gender equality on sporting boards. He is somebody who I believe has, has a, a very deep interest in gender equality. But this isn't just an issue of gender equality. This is about a representation of a bunch of people, a bunch of elite sports people who want to represent their country and are out of pocket because if you're in Ireland, you're not a professional footballer because you're playing in the domestic league here, you will lose out on your day's pay by going off to play for your country. And it is unbelievable they had to come to a situation after many years of having behind the scenes grumbling at the situation to come together in Liberty House at half ten this morning to, 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 to speak about their grievances. So if we were seriously serious at this House on congratulating our Irish men and women who go across the world and, and wear the green with pride, I think we should all be collectively be embarrassed that, a, that a, an Irish team would have to change in the public toilets at Dublin Airport to get into a, a tracksuit which isn't even their own. Thank you, so I would ask, respectfully, Leader, if you could ask the Minister of Sport in here, because we give these people money. It is state taxpayers' okay. money that fund this organisation, the FAI. And if they're not going to properly look after elite sports people in that organisation, then we have to seriously reassess our relationship with that body. Thank I you. am appalled what was said today, and I, I would ask respectfully that you facilitate that debate. Thank you very much. Um.